but herbs. To go into all of the herbs that we use as witches and practitioners of the craft, there's too many to discuss here. But what I will point out to you, there are certain ones that are what we call all-rounders, that you can use for anything and everything. Every spell, cookery, medicinal, wonderful, wonderful herbs. One of those key herbs that we do have is basil. It's great, absolutely brilliant. There's so many stories and legends concerned with this herb, but it is one of those herbs that you need to have in your magic cupboard. Another herb that is very easily and readily available is rosemary. And once again, it's another one that is perfect. Another herb is mint. Basil, rosemary, mint. Can be used for all of those things. Medicinal, cookery, and magic work as well. When it comes to talking about herbs and teaching you about herbs, it's actually quite interesting the story of herbs and herb law for us. One of the most ancient texts we have regarding herbs was comes from the Book of Enoch. Now it's very interesting because herbology or herb law and the uses of herbs was regarded and, and to an extent to, the, to this day is regarded as a very sacred and knowledgeable act. It, it's a very very highly prized and respected practitioner who knows their herbs and their purposes and it's very interesting that one of the books, the Book of Enoch, when the gods decided to reveal the secrets of herbs and plants of the earth, they chose to deliver that knowledge to women. Notice it was women and not men. Women were the natural healers because of this, because of the gods choosing to reveal the secrets of herbs and plants to just women. Very interesting. Women were the natural healers of the earth. Go down the centuries and you come to the witchcraft trials, but more of that later.